To model a real-world situation using a function rule, you need to identify the dependent and independent quantities. One way to describe the dependence of a variable quantity is to use a phrase such as, distance is a function of time. This means that distance depends on time. That brings us to problem six, writing and evaluating a function. Ticket price. Tickets to a concert are available online for $35 each, plus a handling fee of $2.50. The total cost is a function of the number of tickets bought. What function rule models the cost of concert tickets? Evaluate the function for four tickets. Well, cost is the dependent quantity, and the number of tickets is the independent quantity, because we can say the cost depends on the number of tickets purchased. So we relate as follows. Total cost is cost per ticket, times number of tickets bought, plus the handling fee. We need a variable. We'll let t be the number of tickets bought, that makes sense. And we can let c of t, our function, capital C, represent the total cost. Now we can write, simply replacing from our relation above, c of t equals 35 times t plus $2.50. And then a little bit more cleanly, in the equation c of t equals 35t plus 250. We were asked to evaluate the cost of four tickets. So we substitute four for t, our input variable. c of four equals 35 times four plus $2.50. And we evaluate. 35 times four plus 250 is $142.50. So we can state in a complete sentence, the cost of four tickets is $142.50. Your turn. You are buying bottles of a sports drink for a softball team. Each bottle costs $1.19. Let X equal the number of bottles purchased and capital C the total cost. What function rule models the total cost of a purchase? Evaluate the function for 15 bottles.